your renders are going to look better in a new version of Blender 4.0. And that is going to be because of a new color management. Until now we were working with Filmic, which is good enough. It contained a lot of dynamic range. The problem with Filmic though was that it didn't contain enough detail in the colors. But the Filmic color space was developed further and now there is a new color space called AGX, which basically takes the image from this to this. So let me show you how you can actually use this new feature right now. So first of all, you're going to need the new alpha version of Blender 4.0. So just go over to the Blender website, go to download, download Blender Experimental. And right here you have the Blender 4.0 alpha version. Yeah, you can just download this, save it in your downloads folder and access it from this folder right here and just open the Blender launcher. So let's take the scene here for example. We can see under color management right here, view transform, it is still set to filmic. And if we look at this image, we can see that in the saturated highlights, a lot of detail is lost. Let's go to the view transform and switch it from filmic to the new AGX space. And now we can instantly see that it brings back all of the details in the highlights and basically treats the whole saturation completely differently and looks way better than before. So and this is all you have to do to get more realistic renders with Blender 4.0. Now um, the next thing is exporting this. You know I like to export everything in a OpenEXR format so I can work with more detail. And for the color management output I like to choose override and switch it from color space from linear rec 79. I like to use the AGX log format. If you render and save this image now, it will be exported in AGX log, giving us a little bit more information to work with in color grading. And by the way, if you want to know how the scene was created, I have an entire tutorial on that on my Patreon page with the project file I uploaded there. Okay, so now let me show you how to work with AGX renders in DaVinci Resolve. So let's drop in our render right in here. And this is what AGX log looks like. So I use the config file in the Blender color management folder to create LUTs that convert AGX color spaces to something we can use in DaVinci Resolve. I provided these LUTs for free, just check out the links in the description. So to install the LUT into Resolve, just go to the setting sign right here, go to color management, and under lookup tables, just click open LUT folder. This takes you to where all of the LUTs in which Resolve are stored. And all you have to do here is to paste in the cube file and click update lists. Hit save. And after that your new LUT should appear right here in the LUT folder. And just drop it onto this node. And now we get the same result like in Blender. So the important thing is that you want to use this LUT on the last node of the node tree and do your grading before it. Because only if you grade before the node, you will actually use all of the detail contained in the EXR file now. By the way, if you want to use AGX not in the alpha version of Blender because it's not that stable, there's a simple way to also get AGX in the old Blender versions. All you have to do for that is go to the Blender 4.0 folder, 4.0 data files, color management and copy all of these folders inside the color management. Then go to the long time support Blender version on your hard drive. Navigate to the same folder, data files, color management and delete all of these folders. I just paste the ones from 4.0 in there. And now if you open up 3.6, you can see that we also have the AGX option in the color management settings. So this is how you use the new color management AGX for Blender. Check out my store on Blender Market. I got some great Blender add-ons for your own projects over there, like Cyberscape Pro, which is a procedural cyberpunk city generator that can instantly give you results like the animations right here, or the sky shaders to get procedural realistic clouds that interact with your scene, or a procedural fly swarm generator to add more realism to your nature scenes.